What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Hot off the presses, it looks like Top Rank and Bob Arum are extremely interested in making none other than Manny Pacman Pacquiao and new champion Chris Algieri. Now, I definitely have mixed feelings about this. I talked about this briefly on Dante's Boxing Nation when we did the radio show. So, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation for having me on his show. And I'm going to elaborate that on my video since they're in talks. According to Bob Arum, it sounds like an offer contract has been sent to Chris Algieri and his management, his promoter, trying to orchestrate and make this fight happen. So they're extremely interested in it. And you know I try to give you guys the latest and greatest. So I made this graphic. I like the way it came out supporting this fight. Now, I have mixed feelings about this fight for a few reasons, and I'm going to break that down in this video. Chris Algieri. I talked about this on Dante's, like I said, on Dante's radio show. I'm not a big fan of fighters being forced to move at a rapid speed. Like, let Chris Algieri, Terrence Crawford, let them dwell and, and thrive and enjoy their time in their division. Like, Terrence Crawford's in the same boat as Chris Algieri as far as I'm concerned. He had that, he had that make or break fight with Gamboa and he passed with flying colors at 135. Now people are talking about, like, people like Larry Merchant's talking about, oh, he needs to fight Pacquiao. Same thing with Chris Algieri. He just had a tough, tough time with Ruslan Provotnikov. He was able to win. And this was at 140. Now we're already talking about him fighting one of this era's best fighters in Manny Pacquiao. It's just, I understand Pacquiao's running out of opponents, but let the man enjoy being a champion. And I'm not saying Chris Algieri has no chance in hell against Pacquiao, but I wouldn't favor Chris Algieri going into this fight. And if you're a reasonable fan, then you you probably shouldn't. Chris Algieri, he's a good boxer. He shows good technical abilities, but he was hurt in the Ruslan Provotnikov fight. Now, most likely if this fight were to happen, it would probably be at 147 or even a catch weight. And Pacquiao still has advantages in speed. He's fought bigger guys, etc. So, I mean, I would definitely lean towards Pacquiao. He's he's done more and proven more in the sport. And I just don't, like I said, I don't think guys need to just rush up and move up weight divisions. Let that gradually happen and and clean out your division before you rush out and you know what I'm saying? Clean out your division. That's just my my thought process. And I think Chris Algieri, there's excellent fights for him at 140. Why does he need a rush and fight Pacquiao? Now, I'm no fool. A Pacquiao payday is a Pacquiao payday, so no one's going to turn that up. So whatever offer they offered him is probably better than anything that Chris Algieri has currently seen in his career. So as long as they're not, you know what I mean, giving him peanuts, I don't think he would reject this opportunity. Now, as far as the fight, another reason I have mixed feelings is... Because Manny Pacquiao, great fighter, but I feel a ton of his fights have been fought with weight stipulations where he has some sort of weight advantage. He fought Brandon Rios, who was coming off a loss. In addition to that, Brandon Rios moved up in weight from 140 to 147. So that was Rios' first fight at 147 against Pacquiao. Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley had fought one time against uh, Luis Carlos Abregu at 47 then he went back down and had uh, most of his career at 140 then he fought Pacquiao he had to move back up in weight Marquez in the third fight with Pacquiao jumped two weight classes to meet Pacquiao and to chase him down trying to get his rematch and it just seems like Pacquiao has tons of catch weights or weight stipulations uh, De La Hoya was late in his career dropped down a weight class you had catch weights with Cotto and Margarito just different things like that. So this would be yet another fighter who has some type of weight stipulation. Pacquiao, he's at the twilight of his career. I want to see him in good fights. Obviously, we want to see a Floyd Mayweather fight. And I just don't think he'll get that much recognition for beating Chris Algieri. I did my post fight on Ruslan Provotnikov versus Chris Algieri. And I told you guys initially after watching it the first time, I thought Ruslan won the fight. Then I went back and I'm I'm like, okay, Ruslan couldn't really get off his shots as the fight progressed, but he did have Chris Algieri severely hurt in the first round, dropped him three times, had his eye busted up, and it looked like it was um the end was near in the Ruslan Provotnikov fight. But not just me, a lot of people 
thought it was a close fight and a lot of people gave it for Ruslan and a lot of people gave it to Chris Algieri. So, I mean, you had a very, very tough win that in the public's eye could have went either way. And now all of a sudden you're moving up to fight Pacquiao. I just feel like, man, let the dude get some action at 140 instead of fucking Danny Garcia versus Chris Algieri. We, we should have seen Chris Algieri versus Danny Garcia. They're two champions or Lamont Peterson versus Chris Algieri or John Molina and Adrian Broner and, and uh, Lucas Matisse versus Chris Algieri. These are all good fights at 140. 140 has some players in it and they're trying to rush things. Pacquiao's running out of opponents. So I guess they're, they're trying to cash Chris Algieri out and be like, fuck it. So I'm just, I, I think there's action at 140 for Chris Algieri. And I don't think Pacquiao is going to get much credit, especially when he's in a division that's pretty stacked with guys like Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Floyd Mayweather, of course, Marcos Maidana, uh, Sean Porter. I don't know if I said him. There's just a lot of guys at 147. I don't really think Pacquiao is going to get all the credit if he is able to beat Chris Algieri. Now, I know Pacquiao has struggled with pure boxers, guys who are technically sound. Chris Algieri doesn't have much pop, so he's definitely going to have to rely on just overall frustrating Pacquiao, kind of like a Timothy Bradley. He's going to have to be good on his feet, lateral movement, exercise that jab frequently, because I don't really think Chris Algieri has the power to hurt Pacquiao. He didn't look like he hurt Ruslan Provotnikov. So this is a fight where, like, even in, in the Mayweather rematch with Maidana, there's an element of intrigue because Maidana might get his gloves and he's always a lethal puncher, and he's an improving fighter with Robert Garcia, and he has an unorthodox style, so it's hard to get a gauge, and we know that given the right sequence of punches, he can knock Mayweather out, or badly hurt Mayweather to the body, or, or whatever the situation is. With a Pacquiao-Chris Algieri fight, that's not the case. It's either Pacquiao's going to win, probably by a, a stoppage or a decision, he hasn't had a, a stoppage in a while, but it's either Pacquiao's going to win and Chris Algieri's only hope is to be boxing. He, I, I mean, I really don't see Chris Algieri stopping Pacquiao. So it's going to be a boxing clinic and he's just going to have to box the perfect fight and do the right combination of things and stay out of danger. So it's a little bit of intrigue, but there's not really much danger for Pacquiao. It's a very safe fight. And they're talking about having this in Macau, China. Let me know what you guys think. Chris Algieri versus Manny Pacquiao. Stylistically, given the fact that Pacquiao has problems with pure boxers and technically sound fighters, it could be interesting, but not really a dangerous fight for Pacquiao. So I kind of expected a little bit more. Even the Ruslan Provotnikov fight, to me, it shows a little bit more dangerous danger because Ruslan can crack. He has that pop. So I would want to see how Pacquiao... A couple fights removed from a knockout loss looked against a Ruslan Provotnikov. But now that Algieri beat Ruslan and he beat him by the skin of his teeth. Like I said, he a lot of people felt different types of ways. It, it all depends on what you looked at in the Chris Algieri Ruslan fight. But it was a close fight and there was an element of danger because Ruslan, given the right like punch, I mean he could have finished Algieri off. He just couldn't. You know, what I mean he was too limited and Chris Algieri was able he had the adrenaline in the hometown crowd and that kind of stuff so and it's also a bummer because i made a video about amir khan versus manny pacquiao last week sometime and that was sounding mighty appetizing amir khan he's improving his technique and making sound decisions he looked good in terms of his shape he looked like he came conditioned he's fast as fuck at 147 still so to me that was a more intriguing fight and at least he has a catchweight fight at like 144 and a certified fight with Luis Colazzo at welterweight, unlike Chris Algieri. Overall, just let me know what you guys think of Manny Pacquiao if they do make the fight with Chris Algieri. I just, I'm not for the, the catch weights and all the weight um, stipulations. I understand Pacquiao's the A side and it's a privilege to fight him and stuff. I would just prefer him to fight Mayweather or somebody who who has been fighting at 47 instead of making another yet another guy come up let me know what you guys think Chris Algieri versus Manny Pacquiao do you love it or you hate it let me know what you guys think of my graphic and and just Chris Algieri one thing that can't be denied is Chris Algieri has a ton of heart he's a good boxer he comes in shape 
He's very into fitness and nutrition and conditioning. So that, you know, I mean, you can't take that away from him. So he's still a live dog just because, you know, he's going to take it serious. He has tremendous heart. Anybody that can get beat up in the first round, knocked down three times and come back to have a come from behind victory with one eye. I mean, you got to you got to tip your hat off. So Pacquiao's really going to have to finish him off in order to discourage him you know what i mean he's not gonna go easy so let me know what you guys think of this fight make sure you like the video as always hate comment or subscribe till next video is ego signing off